Hey everyone, and welcome to the sixth, no, not the sixth, the seventh episode in my Cat Clicker game tutorial series. Today, I'm going to be showing how to add the third and final accessory into the game, the gold gloves, and I'm going to be adding another upgrade, the gold cat, and finally, I will be changing how the gold cat works a bit and making it to where it has a rare chance to spawn as a big version of itself, and if you click on it, it'll give you way more money than the usual golden cat, like this one right here. Before we get into the episode, don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing. And also leave a comment down below. I love reading through your comments. But anyway, let's get coding. First, I need to show these sprites and costumes you'll need. So today, you don't actually need any new sprites. It's just new costumes. But if you don't want to make these costumes or you just want to use my exact ones, I've updated my scratch project with all the art in it for this game. So you can go check that out. The link is in the description. But the first one is in the accessory sprite. So if we go into the costumes, you can see that we have the gold gloves, which are just little gloves that will fit onto our cat. Then I have one new costume in gold cat, and it's just kind of a different version of the gold cat. You can see that this is a normal gold cat. The gold cat too is kind of just cross-eyed and then the arms are also kind of rotated in as well. Then in the UI I have a couple of new buttons that you will click. So I have gold cat increases cats per second by 25 and then gold gloves which are those upgrades which gives a chance of tripling cats per click from a clip. So those are the costumes that I'll be using in this episode. So let's start in the gold cat and make it to where it has a chance to spawn a big cat that'll give you more money. I'm going to pull in an if else and do if pick random 1 to 2 equals 1. You can go ahead and just duplicate that and change this to 1 to 8 equals 1. So it's a 1 in 8 chance for this guy to be big. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull all of this into the else like that and plop that in. Now I'm going to duplicate all of that programming that we just pulled in and put it in here. Set the gold cat speed pick random 5 to 7 and I'm going to set the x to 150 on this one and negative 150 on this one because it's going to be bigger. Then we're going to turn this gold cat speed times five so that way it turns way faster and then do the same for this else right here. But that is actually not going to really do anything so let's first of all fix the size problem because it's still going to go down to 50% in this update loop. Add a new variable called clone ID for the sprite only. Make sure you do that otherwise this will not work. Then set the clone ID to one right before this reset on the else loop right here. Then set it to 2 right after this reset on the if pick random 1 to 8. Now we can go ahead and just add an if else and do clone id equals to 1 which is our old one. Then we're going to do that. Otherwise we're going to change size by just a hundred percent. Let's go ahead and test this guy out. So how you can do this is just click create clone of myself in the code. Hey that's just a normal one. That's a normal one. Oh there's one right there. Boop. You see that? Oh, there's another one. So that's what it looks like. So I may have went a little overboard on the turning. I didn't think about that. So you can go ahead and take out all the times five. I forgot that it's already multiplied from the speed being faster. So you don't actually need that. Now we need to go ahead and take this out of the reset, this switch costume, and duplicate that. Then go ahead for the pick random one to eight, do switch costume to gold cat two. And then this one is just gold cat one. And maybe instead of 100, let's do like 80. That way it's not so big. Now let's make it give you more money. Make a new block and name this give cats like this. Then you can do run screen without refresh by clicking that little box so it has a check mark and click OK. Now go ahead and do give cats in place of this change total cats and then just pull this guy into the give cats. So now it's going to do exactly the same thing. But what this allows us to do is make it a little bit longer that way it doesn't make this messy over here. So go ahead and duplicate this if clone ID equals to one in this update loop and take the these change size by and delete them. Now you can go ahead and take out that old if else I put in there and do if clone ID equals to one then do that but if it equals to two which is our special one only take it divided by three. The reason for this is it'll make it give you more money so say your total cats is 100 so then we're going to take that divided by 10 right here that's equals to 10 then we're going to add pick random 25 to 45 so whatever let's just do 25 so that means we get 35 points if our our total cats is 100. But say our total cats is 100 and we take that divided by 3, well it's 3.3333, and we take that plus 
35. Now it's 68. So it's going to end up giving us way more money. And then let's just add pick random 50 to 150. That way it gives you a little bit more money on top of that. So now let's move on to the UI and add another upgrade in. Change this create clones amount to 11. That way we have one extra clone. Now let's make this clone do something. So duplicate this clone ID equals 10 and change that to 11. And now just plop that in the else. So 11 is going to have a base cost of 3,000. Wow, that is expensive. And a multiplier of 60. Now pull out a plus block and do 42 plus 55. That'd be 97. So take shop Y minus 97 because 55 is our spacing. Then make sure you add the unlock after next tier. So find the handle unlocking and go ahead and add 11 upgrades available after the clone ID equals 10 times bot is greater than 4. That way you have to buy 5 kitty minions before you can unlock the gold cat upgrade. Now duplicate this once again and do 11 and just put zero and delete that right there. So now that we have the unlocking in, let's just set our score to a humongous number. And there you can see it right there is 3000 because it's sticking off the edge. So we need to change the amount the shop goes in this one right here. Instead of 200, let's try 250. There we go. So now it goes in away. So now you should see that if we go ahead and buy through all of these upgrades. One, two, three, four, five, and now it unlocks the gold cat, which is 3,000. Now let's just make this actually do what it says. So it says it increases your cats per second by 25. So find the buy results right here and duplicate this and do if clone ID equals to 11, which is our new upgrade, and change the cats per second by 25. Oh wait, that was cats per click. I meant cats per second. So now when we buy this, you can see that our cats per second goes up by 25. That means that that upgrade is done. So now let's add the accessory in. So we are going to create 12 clones. Make sure you add one to there. And now let's assign it like before. So the main clone loop, we're going to duplicate this and do if quantity equals a 12. Then we are going to take 97 plus 55. So we get the spacing right. And that is 152. So take that minus 152. So the price on this is going to be 10,000. So write one, then zero, then three zero zeros. Altogether, it has four zeros. And the multiplier can just stay whatever because like the other accessories, it can only be bought once. And now let's add the unlocking. So right here, wait until times bought is greater than four for 11 and then add 12 to upgrades available. Duplicate that. And then if clone ID equals a 12, wait until times bought is greater than zero and go ahead and just do blank. Now let's go ahead and add it to the list of things that can only be bought once. So, so far we have six, nine, which are our sunglasses and kitty crown. So add an or into this and duplicate this and do if clone ID equals six, nine, or 12, which is our new accessory. So once again, the shop is shown. So go ahead and change this 250 to like 300. Okay, now it's hidden. So right here, this one, if clone ID equals a six, nine, and times bot is greater than zero, then we're going to fade it out. So take all those out and add another or into this. Duplicate that equals to 12, which is our new accessory. So now you can see that it is faded out. Now we need to make it give you those gloves, which is just in the buy results. So similar to clone ID equals the nine and six. We're just going to add the name of it into cat accessory. So add gold gloves into cat accessory or if clone ID equals a 12. So go ahead and make that right here. Add gold gloves to cat accessory. Add the crown, add sunglasses, and now just go ahead and add gold gloves. There we go. You can see that we have gold gloves, but they're not quite positioned correctly. Click onto the accessory and find the costume with the gold gloves and move it up and down until it looks correct. There we go. Now the crown actually covers up the cat's paws. Go ahead and go into the accessory and do when I start as a clone right here, if statement and an equals costume number equals to two, which is our sunglasses. And we want to forever go to front. So see this give cats. We just need to add another condition in. So duplicate this right here and do if contains gold gloves like that. And then for now, just delete everything and pull this out right here. Now put this in the else. So that way it says, hey, do I have gold gloves? No. Okay, I have a crown, so I'm going to do this. That way it prioritizes it. Then put that back on the bottom and clean up the blocks. Next, add an if statement in 
and this else right here. And that means we don't actually have any accessories. If the cat accessory, so actually pulling this guy, equals to blank, which means it is empty, then we're going to set the bonus catch per click to zero like that. Then in the gold gloves, we're going to do the if pick random one to 10. And instead of setting the bonus cats to two, we're going to do it to three. That way it multiplies it by three. So now let's test this out. So right now we get one, 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 one. Okay, that is all working. Then if we go into the UI and find the buy results and we add the crown, now when we click, okay, one, one, two right there we just got two so that means the gold crown still working add sunglasses in and then the gold gloves in so now we should randomly triple r so we got one one three you see that right there we just tripled our score again now let's go ahead and go into the click and change this forever cps and round to when i receive update right here and then cps and round and now lastly we're having a little bit of a problem where when we click we get these huge number digits at the end for the tripling see this catch per click right here we're going to go ahead and pull that little algorithm from the round into the plus one and go ahead and take this catch per click out and put this in the times so round catch per click times bonus catch per click times all of that in there so now you can see that it's not doing that anymore thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if if you did, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. And by the way, no, this is not the last episode. But anyway, this has been Owen, and I am out.